character stats are a staple mechanic in video games, so why aren't they also front and center on your Steam profile? Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. Steam knows how much money you've spent and how much time you've played, and so should you. If learning those numbers strikes fear into you, as it probably does if you have a video game habit, then you may want to skip some of these tools. But the quest is always there, should you choose to accept it, and it's not a bad way to show off. To use most of the tools below, you'll need your Steam ID, which is a 17 digit number that uniquely identifies your account. It's not the same as the username you use to log in, so it can take a bit of finding. Open Steam, go to View, Settings, click the Interface tab and check the box beside Display Steam URL address bar when available. Go back to the home screen and click your username in the top right. Select View Profile. Look at the address bar under the Store Library Community menu bar. If you see a 17 digit number, that's your Steam ID. If you see a username, no worries. You can just enter that into a site like Steam ID Finder or Steam ID IO and it will tell you all possible versions of your Steam ID. Another thing you'll probably have to do is set your Steam profile to public so that these tools are allowed to see your information. Unless you care about people who know your Steam ID seeing this stuff, there's not much to worry about from a data standpoint. Here's how to do it. Click on your username in the top right corner and click View My Profile. When your profile opens, select Edit Profile. Select My Privacy Settings from the menu on the right. Set your profile, or just the parts you want, to public. When it comes to quantifying your Steam profile, there's no competing with Steam Gauge. It's the king of Steam stats. Pretty much anything you want to see about your time, spending and game library is laid out in table form. You can sort by any number of different variables, including price per hour played, which is a fun way to see how much value you're getting out of each game. However, Steam Gauge can only see the current value of your games in your library so it can't tell you how much you've actually spent on a game. If you're a habitual Steam sale shopper, you'll probably be impressed by your combined discounts. To see a game by game comparison, you can look at your Steam purchase history, located in your account section. Like Steam Gauge, Completionist gives you a dashboard that shows your gaming activity, mostly focusing on how many of the achievements you've unlocked. You can already see some of this on your Steam profile, but it gives you some fun perks, like seeing your achievement trends over time and how close each of your games is to being complete. Are you addicted to Steam sales? If you ever got the urge to go back and play through the games you already have though, how much time would it take you? That's what How Long To Beat has set out to answer. Just plug in your Steam ID and they'll look at your library and make their best guess at how long it would take you to finish every game. It's a rough estimate, but once you start hitting a few months of playtime, you may want to rethink your life. Steam Left does something similar, but also looks at how long you've actually spent playing the games and tells you how much time you have remaining. At this point, you probably know how much time you've spent, but how do you rank compared to other gamers? Steam Time can give you some insight into that, as it'll tell you how much time you've spent and rank you compared to every other gamer that has looked up their profile. To get an idea of what that number actually means, you'll want to visit their Statistics tab so you can see how many people you're being compared to here. These stats are leaving out everyone who hasn't used Steam Time, but with over 250,000 ranked profiles, you will still get a decent idea. Some stats are just for fun on their own sake, and so are these, but these numbers also have real world implications. Steam is a bit like a windowless, clockless shopping mall. You don't want people to notice how much time they've spent in case they decide it's time to go. 
Steam's running a business, sure, but now you have the power to manage your gaming time a little bit better. Or just impress your mates with how much time you've pumped into the Age of Empires 2 remaster. Did you find this tutorial useful? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.